And welcome back to the YouTube channel. As you can see behind me, we have Darren Hubble in the Manitou. He is unloading bales. So last week's video was Ted and Ray in the straw to get ready for bales. And now we're actually stacking the straw. So last week you would have seen us Ted out the straw and then raking it back up. And that was oat and straw. This is wheat and straw. So we're going to be stacking this outside. There's no better man to stack bales than Darren Hubble. So the stack is small now, but hopefully there will be 500 bales in this stack by the end of today. So we've owned in the 6910, we've Amo in the 6R175. Hello Eamon. <laughs> How are we getting on? Oh class. And there's so many bales on. What's uh, going on? Just going up to Teddy Park. Oh right, okay. Oh, right. How did you get a 6R and you pushed Owen into a 6910? Better driver, better tractors. Or is he the old he's the older brother, so he gets the older tractor? No, better driver, better oh, tractors. Alright, oh, right, okay, okay, yeah, I'm sure that's it. Yeah. Yeah, what about last week when you... Oh, yeah, oh, we won't talk about it, we won't talk about that. Huh. Yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying. Yikes, yikes. What are you on about? So you were giving out about the state of the tractor, were you? Yeah, no, I was busy cleaning here, so I was... Why, who, who had the dirty? I don't know, between Alex and Nyla Riley. Alex doing a bit of verge trimming with it, and Nyla Riley, what was he doing with it? He was drawing corn right yesterday, and maybe Saturday as well. And dirty, you know? And dirty in it, yeah. Dirty in it. So it's nice and clean again. Well, it's clean ish, yeah. Clean the wheel is clean though. Mmm. Filthy, yeah. Very good, very good. Hard so, not though, she's mint. What'd you make of Tom stacking the other straw? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh. Ouch. Ah, no, he's quick. He's pretty fast. His job done, yeah. Uh huh. Because get the trailers back to Hubble and get that stack as quick as we can. Because we've got a lot of straw, a lot of bits to bring in. Yeah. And we have to get it done when the, when the weather's right. When the weather's right. right, unless the bales go titch. And we'll work all night. Mm, I would yeah. say. Uh-huh. Come on, Tom. Go on, Tom. Go on, Tom. Go on, Tommy. Go on, Tom. Come on, Tom. Go on, Tom, boy. So the wheat bale's done on the outside, now we're moving onto the inside of the shed and we're stacking our oat and straw in here. So Hubble has, well, I'm up here to make sure that the line is straight. And if he sets the first one up, he'll set them all right. Yeah, come on Hubble, bring it in, bring it in. Bears of gold. Yeah, that loop. Oh, you loop, perfect, perfect. The Hubble has the grab here, bags fixed, got the hydraulic pipe fixed, Kaelin fixed it, so yeah, he's a happy man. You can see the shed is empty, nearly well, there's one stack in, next time you see this, this shed will hopefully be full. Ta-da! So you can see we have our oat and straw at the back and then we have a few bales of wheat here at the front because the lorries are coming there so they'll be gone within the start of next week and then we'll free up more space in the shed. So there's about 600 bales there and then we'll go outside. Where there's over a thousand bales outside so these are going to be used for mushroom compost so it's a nutrient for the mushrooms to grow in. So there was myself, Darren Hubble, Tom Miller, 
Connor Nolan, Charlie Riley, Niall Riley, and Dabrowski Owen were all drawn bales. So this week alone, we drew over 4,000 bales. So not bad going. And uh, yeah, we've our wheat will be done this week, and we just have to wait for our beans. So we're well on track. So we're happy enough we got the weather. It just meant that we got the bales in nice and dry. There wasn't any mucking around or wetland. So very happy with that. So today we're going to do a small review here on this electric forklift. It's supplied there by PD Lift Trucks and it's green by colour and actually green by nature. We have other battery operated forklifts on the farm but we don't have anything maybe of this size. As we say, this is a three and a half ton model and it's something that we're looking there for the pack out. So now we have the real professional here to talk about the the fog truck here, uh, Peter there from uh, PD um, Lift Trucks. Lift Trucks, isn't that it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we have the EFL 352, is that what yeah. you call it? So it's a three and a half ton model uh, electric forklift. And we'll ask Peter here just to go through it there. Now, yeah. I just done a small preview on it, didn't know a whole lot about it, but this man obviously knows more than I do. So, yeah. go on, take it away there. What's the, up, what's, what's upgrade the? of all the diesel trucks. So, We're yeah, sort of like, getting rid of the old and in with the new. The, uh, no, same as diesel trucks bar. All of that, the motors, drives, drives the same, have the same back axle. The more or less took all the diesel stuff out, put all replace. the electric stuff in. Okay. Yeah, some of the other forklifts now, you will, they will replace, but they'll replace axles and replace a lot, which leaves it a bit later. Because basically looking at the model here, and I've studied it a bit, it's very much the same as the tail lift model in a lot of, a lot of features yeah. are very much the same. Uh, drives, axles, Yeah, you see, the they try lot. and keep it as close to a diesel truck because of the stability, yeah. robust, make sure evidence. It's just to, to give them a good friggin' going over like yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Uh, So we'll, op we'll open the bonnet over there and see what's yeah, underneath yeah. that. I do notice some of the other ones now, they will have, uh, you'll see a change. You'll see a change in the, uh, the chassis and stuff. So I presume everything is for your lithium battery, is everything is yeah. under the bonnet here? Lithium battery, everything goes in there. Charger, everything's all built inside her. You'll never have to open that. You'll never have to work at it, touch it. The, uh, a lot of the lead batteries at the minute come with a three year warranty. These come with a five to seven year warranty, okay. which is pretty good. Uh, electronics, everything does be the same. The only thing they've done is they've, they've advanced them with the lithium batteries. Charger and all is integrated, which leaves it yeah. easier worked at, yeah. easier to charge. You're not charging big chargers around with you. Uh, look, they are ten times stronger. Half the charge, the, half the time to charge them out. Yeah. Uh, to me, they're they're a far better truck, and as the years go on, they're just getting better and better and better. Like even this model was better than the last model. And then there's a new S model out, which is even better than the two models. Okay. The, uh, but they're just, they're sort of picking up as they go along. But yeah. this, these ones now are a very good truck because th there's a couple out in a couple of places that are heavy duty and they're sticking it regularly. Yeah, well, we, a lot of the foxes we have on the farm are either a ton and a half or two tonners. They don't do any really heavy work. It's, yeah. it's having something like this that's maybe, you know, for lifting boxes yeah. and boxes of potatoes uh, repeatedly yeah. during the day. Yeah. To see yeah. how does the battery, how will the electric, the yeah. how will it kind of fare out with it. Yeah. Uh, Tell me about to charge. I've done a small preview. Yeah, and speed, you plug like in. I think there is a, a set of different parameters that you can put into this if you want the lift to go quicker or the lift to drop quicker or whatever, tilt back, tilt forward. So that's all can be fully programmable there from, from the computer. In reverse here, top speed. In around the 13k. And forward speed. Thirteen and a half k Standard levers here, lift up and down, tilt back, forward, side shift. And that's obviously for your auxiliary there, your fourth auxiliary if you need it. Again, indicators. Uh, white bush, forward reverse, so everything is much the same, it has a fan in it, you can get different types of cabs as well, this is the fully enclosed cab, uh, I think that's a heater, no, no that's just a fan and we have a fan here, but you can get them with heaters and fans and radios for everyone, the division here is for sun sunroof and all there, just to see out there you're stacking the boxes, now probably the one thing that I wouldn't be just mad on here, it's just this door. Probably should have a full glass door there for a little bit more 
bit of a blind spot there to my left and to my right and maybe a, a little lower here on the window just to see down but uh, yeah I mean you can get them without the cabs too if you need them so look we're just going to bring it for spin here just see if we have the reaction times on that on so again it's very quiet in the cab It's a little bit different of a drive than uh, a diesel forklift because you're always inclined to rev the forklift to get the mass to lift where this just has the one pedal here on it and you just go forward, reverse. You just probably do miss the other pedal but that's just probably from driving the other forklift for so long. Again, forward, in, tilt back and back. So it is super, super quick for anything like that. We spin around here. And drop it down, back. Just the reaction is very good on it there. So on first impressions, it's really, really responsive on the forward reverse and any of the lift functions up or down. And again, as you can see, we can change them, uh, change the parameters there on the machine. But for a first time drive, it's really, really sweet. Again, it's only in here for a short time, and but we seriously have to have a look at something like this and get it back maybe for a full day's work there when we are really busy. So yeah, right. we do well, look like. at we're going to uh, it, it'll be back up another day there. I know it's gone off yeah. there for another demonstration, but we'd love to get it just for a day then when we are probably more busy on that try it out and Peter come up here, we'll run through the yeah. few bits again. But yeah, look I'd say I'd say they're going to the, the one for the future, yeah. Uh, because, oh, yeah. It, because it is the future. I mean, we see a lot of things here on the farm. It's going electric, but, you know, from the point of view of your carbon footprint, from the point of view of your maintenance, yeah. and they just the batteries are there now at this stage, whereas before they probably weren't. But you know, there'll probably be still huge, huge improvements there in the next couple of years. With oh these. yeah, they do. As I say, they do. They improve every year. Every year, they just get better and better. Right. Okay. Thanks for that, Peter. No bother. That's Cheers, Paul. Finnegan's Farm this week. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Follow us on Instagram. You'll see all the photos we put up during the days that we're doing stuff. Um, like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. And yeah. So from everyone here on Finnegan's Farm, thank you. And we'll see you all next week. Good luck.